When I was growing up in Iran, it was a very early part of my life. I lived there only until the age of nine. And I remember family, I remember food, I remember school. When I was eight years old, my family uh, traveled for a short period of time to Spain. And my cousin who was living there at the time, she must have been in high school, she took us to her school to show us around. And she opened the room and it was the lab and it was full of lab glassware. And, you know, it just caught my breath. I couldn't believe that such a fun thing existed. That uh, memory of a kid in an empty lab has stayed with me for now many, many years. Eventually, you know, I made the decision to become a neurosurgeon. And I remember very well that I spoke with a lot of people to ask their advice. And overwhelmingly, everyone pointed me to, the ver to, to what was perceived as the negative aspects of neurosurgery. Long work hours, uh, emotionally, physically, and intellectually draining. There were essentially two people that encouraged me to do neurosurgery. And at the end, I thought about this long and hard, and I decided to only listen to the two people that encouraged me. Many times in my career, both as I was training and also as a staff neurosurgeon, I've been the only woman in sight. Oftentimes, even in large conferences, I would take the time to look around and in a crowd of over 100 people, I might be the one or maybe one other woman, very, very few. I was the first woman hired at the Toronto Western Hospital when I started here as staff. And now there is two of us, Dr. Zade and myself, and there is a number of other women as well across Canada who are surgeons, scientists, and educators. You know, the field moves slowly. What I do feel though, is that every time someone takes a step, a woman takes a step in this area, uh, we open the door for others. And the next door becomes a little bit easier. Another aspect of my life is being a mother to two daughters. Both of them are now at a stage in their life in which they are looking at their options for careers and their future. What I really try to deliver to them is to have a lot of passion for what they do and to know that they can do a lot. My message to all students, boys and girls, uh, considering a science in STEM is uh, by all means, if you have passion and if you have interest, pursue that interest. Don't be dissuaded by any negative thoughts that someone might put in your way. It's hard or it's long. It's fine. If you like it, it will be enjoyable and it will be, yes, hard work, but hard work is good work. If I had to go back and do it all over again, no problem. We'll do it again.